everyone, and welcome to What's Groovin'. I'm your host, the time-traveling creator, Disorderly Cone, sitting in a chair with some shelves up. But don't worry, we got the Needomatic. Let's get right into it by looking at the new Metal Earth Coming Soon page. Looking at this real quickly, we see three brand new models here. One of them is actually linked to a Redditor uh, who went on the Metal Earth subreddit and let everyone know that he was actually working on the real life satellite. Pretty neat stuff. Let's take a look, a look at that one actually real quickly. This is the Worldview Legion satellite. It's kind of Metal Earth going back to that original silver look, which I think is kind of neat, especially for the whole space series. I kind of like that look, if you ask me. The thing about this satellite, though, it's only about the size of a cell phone. And uh, there's going to be a lot of these made. It's a really neat project by Maxar, and links are going to be down in the description. So if you want to look into that, definitely check it out. This model does look pretty cool, but also really simple. I mean, look, just looking at it, there really isn't too much complex detail. We can take a look at some of these profile shots. I mean, I'm sure it's going to be a lot more difficult to build the real thing. Uh, but this one here really just looks like a rectangle with some cylinders attached to it. Uh, but you know what? Sometimes these models can be surprising. Uh, let's go back here and see what else we can find. Real quickly, we can see we have another Lord of the Rings model that has just popped out here. This is the Barad Tower. I probably pronounced that incorrectly. Uh, my Lord of the Rings is a little bit, uh, I wish to say, a little bit rusty. I really did enjoy this series as a child, but uh, you know, as I got older and there was a lot less detail with it, I got into other stuff and kind of left this one behind. So with the new series here, um, mixed feelings, but it is giving me an opportunity to go back and look at some of the cooler stuff. So seeing some of these models, uh, I mean, this one here looks really, really neat. And you can see the detail here in those little spires, especially that little top piece there. That is going to be pretty complicated. And we also know that this is a premium series model, so it's going to be a lot bigger than those average size ones we've seen, like that satellite we just looked at. Okay, let's go back here and take another look at the other one that's just dropped. I shouldn't say just dropped. This one's been out for a little while on the Coming Soon page, but we didn't take a look at it in the last video. This is the Jawa Sandcrawler. Now, as a child, I was in love with this thing. I, I don't know why. I think everyone has a fascination with it. It's a really neat piece of Star Wars, and I mean, come on, this thing is really, really cool. It doesn't look complicated at all. Maybe the track area, especially with uh, all that little bit of folding around the edges there, you can definitely see just here, like you can see right there. Yeah, like that little area right there might be a little bit complicated, but outside of that, I think we're looking at something that's gonna be pretty simple. And with the sand crawler, this one's also gonna be a premium series model. So it's gonna be a lot bigger than the average Star Wars starfires and things. I'm really interested to see how this one all comes together, especially with the Mandalorian models that came out. Uh, they've really stepped up their game in terms of the Star Wars models. So I'm excited for this one. Okay, now that we've done Metal Earth, it's time to shift on over here. Let's get out of Metal Earth and go on over to Peace Cool. Now, Peace Cool is a brand that's a really neat one. These guys have a lot of different models out there with a whole bunch of different details. There's a rich history with these guys. Very, very neat stuff. As we can see here, they have a lot more traditional Chinese models and uh, I think they're really kind of cool, uh, especially the cranes. The cranes here, let's go ahead and take a look at one. Uh, let's take a look at this little gold and red one here. Now, now, I had to use the US version because the version that I was trying to use in Chinese uh, really was having a hard time loading. So uh, the, the Needlematic really is a machine that is very sophisticated and it can only take so much. Now, as we can see with this one right here, we can look at the details and, and like right away, I mean, just, just look at that. It's not a complicated model, but there's a lot of really cool detail there. And if you get a whole bunch of these together, I'm sure you could create something pretty neat. Okay, now we've looked at the uh, Peace Cool cranes. Let's go back here and take a look at some of the other models they have. Now, if you're familiar with the whole Metal Earth side of things, some of these models might look a little bit familiar. And there is history there. I'm not gonna go into it in this video here, uh, but a lot of the models that are released with Metal Earth, Peace Cool does have a version of. And a lot of the times, a lot of the times, not all the time, but those ones tend to be a little bit more detailed than the Metal Earth Cousins, which I think is really cool. Uh, an example of this would be, let's take a look. Actually, you know what's really neat? Um, I think, Needlematic, go to the uh, second page, if you don't mind, the second page, uh, the, the second page. You have, to, you, have to, you have to do your thing. Dang, there we go. Okay, so if we take a look at these uh, little fires here at the top, these ones look really cool. Um, 
Now the fighters from Metal Earth have always been really detailed, but for some reason this, the paint on these just look really neat. Am I wrong? I mean, like, look at that. I mean, the propellers too at the front. I mean, that propeller, I'm really interested to see if that's actually like a separate part. Uh, I, I'm sure it is. Cause like, I mean, I don't see any tabs at all anywhere near that propeller. And I'm not complaining about that. Um, you know, the mix between plastic and wood and metal, I'm, I'm really interested to see how they kind of start collaborating these things together because I mean, really, it just really enhances the experience, right? Okay, let's go back out here real quick. We can see that again, we have some more of those traditional models. Again, these are really neat. These are highly detailed. And if you're into these kinds of things, I definitely recommend checking out some of the ones from Peace Cool. You're not gonna be getting any kind of lackluster metal with these ones. These are all quality models or all quality build stuff so you know that you're going to have an enjoyable experience if you ever try to get these things up aliexpress i'm not trying to throw a whole bunch of shade their way but sometimes the cheaper models can really be a stressor and uh, peace cool actually usually has some pretty good deals like again this one here is only 12 dollars and uh, i mean just look at it it's absolutely beautiful and uh, it's definitely going to have some fun in there for you so definitely check out this one here all right now we take a look at Peace Cool. Not a whole bunch of new stuff there either. Just want to kind of show you a little bit uh, about what's going on over there. We go over to the Kickstarter campaign from our friends over at Metal Time. Now these guys were able to get this project completely supported in the first 24 hours, which I mean, I just want to say congratulations to the entire team over there for working really hard and getting this thing going. It's absolutely an amazing project and I'm really excited to see these models come out and uh, I really am excited to actually hear your feedback on them as well. Uh, one thing I really do enjoy about the Metal Time models is they really seem to be built with quality in mind and uh, I'm not just saying that as somebody who retails them, I'm saying that as a metal model builder. I really do enjoy this brand's version of models and they really do kind of take it to the next level with including a whole bunch of historical information about the model that you're building. A lot of the times, the reason why we're building a model is because we really like that thing. And what Metal Time is trying to do is create little communities based around these things that people love. And I, I really do want to encourage this. If you guys haven't checked them out, of course, links down in the description. Now, real quickly, if you haven't already, go ahead and check out this Kickstarter campaign. They have a whole bunch of really cool stuff on here, and they're actually trying to rebuild an aircraft, the Marriott, that was completely destroyed by the Russians uh, during the invasion. It's a pretty cool project, and if you wanna be a part of history and bringing this aircraft to life, you definitely wanna check out this program. Again, they have a whole bunch of other models here. I did go over it in the last video a little bit. I know there were some audio problems. There's gonna be some audio problems with this, video, but we're going to be working on that another video soon. Uh, but again, definitely a really cool project. And these guys, Metal Time, are an awesome bunch of people. Now, let's go over to the next little bit. Now, real quickly, this is a jump over to the Metalers subreddit here. We got the Balding Jordanians collection of 3D metal models, a really awesome collection, some really good handiwork here too, especially on BB-8 there, great ball work. Uh, I, I gotta say, this is exactly what I love to see, this kind of stuff right here. Seeing your collections really does uh, inspire me to not only build more stuff, but it also shows me that you guys absolutely love this stuff too. And I know that when we're all building these things together, we all kind of get that same feeling. We get into that groove, if you will. And uh, I can see that you really do enjoy the hobby. And I, again, just great work on this, buddy. Keep doing what you're doing. And uh, yeah, just below there, you can see someone saying addiction, addiction, addiction. And then of course, giving a suggestion for some storage. And that is always a thing. Uh, yeah, shelves is my uh, start here, but I actually have some other storage, um, I guess you would call them kind of cabinets. And uh, I do use those and I'll show you maybe those in a little bit of a later time. But right now, uh, this is just a really cool uh, video and I want to show you all. Now, let's go on to the next thing here, which is U-Gears. Now, U-Gears, we talked about last week, but this week they put out a whole bunch of cool new models, including a, uh, uh, a musical model here, if you will. Uh, really neat little piece of kit. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one here together. Just press the play button. Ah, there we go. Now, if you notice something, this model doesn't have any rubber bands, and that's because U-Gears is trying really hard to get rid of the rubber bands. They don't work over a long period of time, and if we can replace them with springs or something else in that kind of nature, some 3D printed parts, 
these things can work a lot better. I mean, just look at this model, this is crazy. I love that you can actually make the music sheets with the little, with the little notes there, that's, that's awesome. And of course you have your cartridge to be able to save the different notes. That's pretty cool. I, I mean, again, this is the kind of stuff that I love to see. Really neat, innovative projects. And again, from our friends over at Uvears, a company that I've been building uh, models from since pretty much the beginning of time here with, uh, with Groove Builders. Absolutely love this, great stuff. Now we do have the Knight's Bus and the Flying Four, but we also have the Hogwarts Express. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one as well, real quickly. Now, I think what's really neat about these ones as well is trains, I've never actually built a wooden train yet. I haven't, I shouldn't say, I haven't built one yet. I, I do wanna build one. I've been kind of looking around at different companies to see which one I wanna start with. Uh, but this one here, I mean, it really does look cool. And of course, it's a Hogwarts Express, so why wouldn't I build that? Course. You got the characters there made out of wood. Nice work, guys, honestly. That's some funny stuff. But will it move is the question. Will it move? Yes, the boxes and the sheets and the gears and the wax. You, you know what? You got to show the waxing. You got to wax on and keep it on. A little bit of a magic carriage, put the characters in, close her up. You know, this is a big build up to me seeing this thing move. Ah, but look at it, it's glorious! It's glorious! It moves so well! Oh my goodness. Yes, this is exactly the kind of thing I'm talking about. Now, if we can get these models working like that and uh, showing it off in the groups, I've actually seen some really cool ones lately. <clears throat> oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm getting kind of caught up here. Now I've been seeing some pretty cool ones posted in the groups lately, the mechanical models, and they've been working flawlessly. Keep that stuff up. I love seeing that, especially that roller coaster one from our friends over at Wood Trick. Let's go ahead and take a quick little look at these guys because I mentioned them last week and the audio was a little messed up like I said earlier, but also I said I was gonna show you the cyber gun and I never did it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of scroll down here and show you some of this stuff here. Now again, with these ones, they do use rubber bands, but I have found that the ones that they use tend to last pretty long. Uh, my rifle has been working absolutely perfectly since I built it. So that's an example of those rubber bands working really well. And I have put the wooden bullets through a couple times as well. Uh, let's go here and just check this out. Here is our cyber gun and hey, look, it's on sale. That's kind of cool. Now the cyber gun is very similar to what we've seen before. Let's go ahead and take a look at the video here as well. Now, again, this stuff here, especially this one being an older model with Wood Trick, um, I feel like the marketing has changed a lot since the beginning of when they first started. Although this one is still pretty cool. Again, it shows how easy it is to really kind of build this stuff. Um, and one thing about Wood Trick is they kind of go out of their way to kind of uh, show you how to build this in an easy to understand way. I, I really do find their instructions to be very well detailed. And of course you can get some pretty neat models out of this. I mean, just look at this. I mean, it moves pretty well, it moves pretty well. Buddy's handling it pretty good. Okay, now let's see you shoot, bud. Let's see you, let's see you hit something. Come on. Yes, the grips, the cocking mechanism, the front muzzle, and the trigger with a shield. Hey, okay, so here we go, rubber band time. This one does not shoot the bullets. I thought it did actually, I, I'm, I'm wrong. But hey, look, a magazine, that's pretty cool. And now let's see if shoot, of course, slow pan. Evil robots, evil robots, we don't like evil robots. Come on, take them out, take them out, take them out, let's go. Fire in the hole, boom. Hey, look, there's a little bit of a hammer action there as well, which is pretty cool. I really do like that, uh, that magazine function too. That's pretty funny, I like that. But again, this is the kind of stuff I love to see. Different kind of mechanical models, all of them very neat and intuitive. And uh, now I want to get back out of here real quickly. Okay, now back out here to the homepage. The Cyber Gun, again, $23.90. Not bad for that little thing. And uh, they definitely made some other pistols that have some other features. But overall, I think this is a really cool thing. Now, guys, this brings us to the end of the What's Groovin' Episode 2. I've had a really 
really good time exploring the project sphere with the Needomatic with you. And if you guys have had a good time, don't forget to press that like button. Found a cool project and want to share it with me? Let me know in the comments down below or send me an Instagram instant message. I love seeing all this stuff and sharing it with you. And we've actually have some projects that are going to be featured in this episode and the last one that we're going to be building here together. So if you're new here, go ahead and press that subscribe button here too. And until next time, Groovers, keep building. All right, now I'm going to see, do you think lasers or do you think smoke machines? Or do you think that we should go ahead and do the whole ball effect? Or even better, dis-